Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks, where we're going deeper into this Lympho LEM7 new technology Android standalone smartwatch phone running Android 7. What we're going to do now is take a look at the tethering of this watch to its support app, which is called the WII Watch 2. Now, this is really new technology as well. So we got a lot of new things going on here. It says that this app is going to replace the YWare and the Y Watch. And that's all we've talked about on most of these Android uh, watches uh, for the tethering capabilities. And these are going to go away. So not only this one, but probably all the Android watches that have been using these apps before are going to migrate to this new why watch two? Well, I guess we should study it and see what it does. Bluetooth has been started. We need that. And you come open to this particular busy page. It's uh, actually this tab here. And if you slide it over, you're on that tab there. And this gives us some other information. We've got to look at all of that. But before we begin, we have to make sure that we're tethered, right? And that's where we hit connect. You see here? It's going to open up this window for looking for a QR code. And as we saw on the watch, in all of the apps, there's one called Assistant. So when you tap on Assistant and go to connect the phone, you get the QR code and you hunt for that thing. Get it in focus. And there you are. Simple as that. Now it's waiting for a connection. Now I get this notice says, please give YWatch2 notification permission. Say okay. And that is down here. And it's got notification permission now. And now we're connected. I got 46%, it says. How does that match up? Come back to the watch face, down here, over here. Okay, looks about right, 46%. So we are paired, we're connected. It also has brought in my step count, which if I come up here, should show me the step count of 1661, and of course, the kilometers 1.2 and 71.3 kilojoules of, of uh, energy, and 10 minutes was one of the um, events that I tried to record here earlier. It also is showing a heart rate last one of 54 beats per minute, and that's in the health section. When I tap it and I go in here, look at all of this. I've got the step count we just saw, the heart rate I just uh, showed you, and now all of the different activities. Here's running. Please check the watch data. Look at that. It put us into outdoor run. Here's walking. Boom, it switched us over to outdoor walking. Okay, here's rope skipping. And now we're into that one. So dynamically, these things are linked together. And all of these different selections are available, you know, by scrolling this way or available through the app. Let's come back here out of health. And by hitting that back tab, and look at dials. Going to bring this up. Now, remember when we were looking at the dials and we press and hold and we go all the way to the very end, there's that little plus sign and you can add them one by one. Well, here they are, the same ones. Oh, I like that one. I'm going to download that one. Look at that bounce. Look at it go. And now it's been downloaded on here. It's in the watch. Okay, now at this point, I got to tell you, I've loaded this for bear and I got a whole bunch of my watch faces in there. Oh, good, good, good. I'm glad it bounced over to it because I'd have to scroll for like a hundred <laughs> to get to it. There's the watch face and it's just now been downloaded. These are all the Christmas ones. And then there's a bunch of other designs that are available. And of course, these are coming from a server. So as they add these uh, or update, uh, and add more of them to the server, they'll show up in here over time. A lot of those Christmas ones were just added, Christmas of 2017, and these are a whole bunch of new ones now that are going in there. As we saw before, you got to wait a little bit for it to download, to get installed, to resequence them all, and to show it. And there it is. Wow, it must be right at the top of the hour. Is that true? 
Or do I only have one? No, I guess that's the hour hand and minute hand that are displayed on there. Interesting. Oh, what's that? Google location history. These are notifications that we, uh, we have in here too when you go to the left. So you have all these watch faces and more. Oh, yeah, that's a cool one. Look at that. Let's bring that one in. And many, 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 many more. It's downloading, so we don't need to see that anymore. We can go ahead and show some of the other pages worth. There you go. Very cool. All right. And of course, press and hold lets me slide through them any which way you want and get all the way to the end where I could add them as well by tapping that plus and it should come back up here to the top of the list and start showing you all of the, uh, the watch faces one by one. But this takes a lot, lot longer to do. Nice that you can do it directly from the app. And hey folks, this is the new WII Wear Watch 2. And so all of this stuff is going to be available for all other Android watches that support the Y Watch or the Y Wear app, as this is the new replacement. Yahoo! Okay, that's enough of that. Let's get out of here, back to where we were, and let's take it now to the next page. Over here, personal settings. You can set your goal uh, for your step count. And I usually do 8,000, hoping I can get to 10. Music control can control either your default music player or Google Music. Look at that. Or QQ Music. That's totally new. Lookup device. I think that's, uh, yep, making it make noise so that you found your watch. That's to find my watch, the lookup device. Raise the screen to see the time. If it's off and you twist it, it should show you the time. Of course, I had it turned on on the watch that way, so maybe they're counteracting each other um, since you can set them both ways. Silent mode is the same thing as, you know, going in here over to here and turning that into silent mode or not. And then app notifications. This is where it gets creative. This is where you're going to specify which of the apps on your phone you want to... Uh, send notifications to your watch. It's going through now and, and indexing all of the apps that I have inside my phone to present the list to you. And then there they are. And they're all turned on by default. So if I don't want flight aware, I just take a check mark off of it. If I do, I put it back on. There doesn't appear to be one grand switch that you can turn them all off or all on. Uh, so by default, they're all on. And then if you get annoying notifications too often, here's how you would go through and, uh, and disable that or turn it off. Okay, app-related, how to get support. Takes you into the round Android Watches Pro Boards. Cool. This is the tech team that we are connected with here at Smartwatch Ticks. And oftentimes I give you an answer. If there's something too technical for a question that comes in, I say, go join the pro boards and ask the experts there. Yeah, that is cool. The app automatically directs you to the pro boards for the round Android watches uh, forum to get support. Feedback, where you can send feedback directly back to these guys. Software updates in Chinese. Now, I'm not sure if it's checking for the update to the uh, app in the phone. Oh, look, it says go to Google Play. Okay, and that's just taking us right back to where we were, and it's currently updated. So that's just a link back to the uh, Google Play Store, it looks like. But maybe if there's an offline one, uh, you could get the update there. And then overall instructions, which again is taking me into my browser and giving you information from Y-W-E-I-T-E-T-E-C-H dot C-N and, and this whole long link here. I'll copy this and put it in the show notes down below. You can go there directly if you want to um, and that'll give you access on your computer or tablet or whatever to this page and maybe more information as well. Oh, okay. So far, that's everything about this app. Wow, lots of cool things going on. This page shows you this stuff for your connection. This thing called Intelligent Watch. I didn't think that was clickable. It doesn't seem to be. 
Okay. The health section and your overall dial information. We're going to cover the health in a separate little topic area. So that's about it for uh, the WII Watch 2 right now. But get ready because that's what you'll be using to tether to your watch. Oh, Apis Browser has a new update. Ooh, that's my notifications. Okay, you've been watching Smartwatch Ticks. Thanks for your subscription and continued support. And if you like this watch, the Limfo LEM7, check out the show notes down below. Got it available from Banggood. They're selling it right now. And we may have a discount for you, I hope, too. If not, check back and we'll constantly be working on that. And there's more to come. So we'll see you soon.